Hey folks, it's Dave back here in Studio B. Hopefully we're all set, ready to go, and sounding good. Uh, so yeah, so I got my Ranger shirt on again. I'm, I've been living, I get two or three Ranger shirts, and I, I've been living in them uh, all weekend long, uh, getting ready for uh, Game 6 and Game 7. So they're looking good tonight. They're in between periods uh, in the Rangers-Carolina game, and for myself, uh, I'm in between games of my hockey bones, 1974-75 uh, Stanley Cup replay, replay. So I got a little break in the action tonight. So I wanted to come on and talk a little bit. Uh, I've been live in a while. So let's. I want to talk about injuries in your replay. So y'all play not not injuries to yourself. I'm talking about injuries in your games. So y'all playing games. You know, you, you got your card and dice, and you're playing the game, and somebody gets hurt. So I'm I'm wondering what do you guys do about that um as far as injuries go i i've never really used injuries before oh, oh and one quick pro tip here um i wear glasses and i'm always getting reflections from the screen by accident i i found a way to get rid of that glare from the screen and that's to put a big bright light in front of you somehow it, it blasts through the glasses and there's no reflection so so anybody that's wearing glasses that wants to get rid of that reflection like the blue screen reflection, put a big bright light in front of you and a blast through it. Uh, back to the topic at hand. Hey, Philip Reynolds is here. Bears Dan is here. So the question I have for you when you're playing your game, and Philip Reynolds is playing a ton of basketball. And uh, oh, Philip, do they do they have injuries in the um the new basketball game by play? I was wondering about that because I, I haven't picked that up yet. I plan on picking that up um soon. Um, I never played injuries, and my reasoning was I'm playing a game and I'm playing to play with certain people, okay? No matter what game it is. If I'm playing the Celtics, I want Bird, McHale, Parrish, you know, those guys, Tiny Archibald, maybe. Uh, if I'm playing Bruins, I want Orr, Esposito, you know, Busick, Cam Neely, Bork, you know, Cheevers. You know, if I'm playing baseball, I want, you know, I want Fisk, you know, and Burleson and all those guys. You know, playing um, football, you know, I, I don't want the quarterback to get hurt when I'm playing football. So I never play injuries. I, ne I just don't. When there's an injury comes up, I just skip right by it because I don't want somebody hurt that I'm playing for. I'm, I'm here rolling on the table or playing on the computer. I'm here to play my favorite people. And if they get hurt and they don't play, so th th then and, – and a perfect example is going back – well, tw oh, hang on. It's like going back. I got to put that in there. About 20 years ago, I had a, uh, I think it was called Front Page Sports. It was a football game. It was on the computer. It might even been a DOS game. And I remember playing it, and uh, I had, it was 1991, I think it was, or 94, maybe. Uh, or not, no, not Front Page Sports, 98. I'm sorry, it's 90. I, Steve Young was the quarterback for the 49ers, whatever year that was, and whenever computers were able to handle some football games. And I took the 49ers of Steve Young. And the very first game, Steve Young got hurt. I didn't put this in, put in my, might have been floppy disk at the time. I don't know. Or it could have been a CD. I didn't play, I think it was front page sports 98. I didn't play this football game and choose the 49ers to play with the backup. That was my first introduction to injuries in sports games. Uh, yeah, maybe, you know, the old Sega games, the Madden, they had, the guy got hurt and they counted him out on the thing there, but it really didn't matter as much as it did, you know, later on. So f for me, that was my first introduction to injuries, and I, like serious injuries. I was like, no, I, I, I restart. I don't, in fact, I don't even think I went back to the game. I think I was so bummed out that I restarted the season and I, and I never went back. I never, I never played it anymore. I mean, at least not that project. So that, I guess that was my first real project, I guess, was on that game. So I'm playing Hockey Bones, and I've been getting injury checks. And then I played APA, and I got injury checks. And I'm, I've still been kind of avoiding them. But then I read something from PJET. So this is a shout-out to PJET here, okay? And you never know where you're going to get your inspiration from, and that's why it, we have a great community here between Facebook and Delphi and YouTube uh, and everybody doing their thing. You, you never know where your inspiration is going to come from. You never know when your aha moment's going to happen. 
And uh, I'll get to the chat in one second. I just want to finish my thought here. So I have to shout out to PJet because he's the one that is, he's playing shootout hockey. He's playing WHA teams. And he's got a, a weird mix of WHA teams, not the better teams, by the way. And the Philadelphia Blazers are playing. Okay, and in 72-73, the Philadelphia Blazers goaltender was Bernie Perrant. He left the Flyers to go to the Blazers, okay? Much like Sanderson did and Chivas did and a bunch of other NHL players did. So the goalie is Bernie Perrant, number one goalie for the Philadelphia Blazers of the World Hockey Association. And I'm following along with PJ's replay, and he tells me that the backup goalie, Paye, somebody I've never heard of, never heard of this guy, has played four games in a row for the Philadelphia Blazers. And I'm reading the recap, and and I don't know if I asked him or if it was in the recap, but I was like, why, oh, why, when you have Bernie Perrant, who jumped from the NHL, who was one of the greats of the NHL, why would you why would you play in some guy named Paye, or whatever his name is? And I've never heard of him. No disrespect to Paye, but I just never heard of him. And... He wrote either he replied to me or somebody else or on the blog. He wrote that he's rolling dice for the starting goalie. And it's just happened to come up four times in a row for the backup goalie. And he said, this is he goes, I need to create a storyline for this. And that stuck with me. And I've talked about that on Digital to Dice. And I've talked about it here on the channel. When he wrote that, that was my aha moment. He's got the backup goalie going in for four games in a row. Perrant sitting on the bench, and he goes, "I need to come up with a storyline." That I mean, and so that spoke volumes to me because now, now that got me thinking about my games, and I'm thinking, okay, so I'm and I'm thinking his storyline. Maybe Perrant's having second thoughts about jumping ship to the WHA, and management is not confident in his playing. Maybe Perrant has a bad attitude. Whatever it is, their number one goal he's not playing and the backup is in. So he's creating that storyline. And that stuck with me. And that got me thinking about injuries and why I've started using them. And let me jump into the chat here real quick and say hi. Uh, so Philip Reynolds said there's no injuries, but he's created injuries in the game. Okay. Uh, David C's here. Good to see you. Sportsman Z. Good to see you, man. Uh, I saw you on the, uh, the ID chat today uh with ron jacket if you haven't checked it out id has been going crazy with streaming uh because he's going to be offline hopefully not very long hopefully just a week or two while he recovers um from surgery but he uh he did a friday night chat with myself and al he did his war room this weekend and today at one o'clock he had ron jacket on so you want to go to id justice channel and check out some of his terrific chats that he's had um so uh so philip ron says when you get the player out for the half he rolls a 1d6 okay David said, as far as injuries, I play with them. And yes, it can be frustrating, but interesting to see how the team adapts if, if it's key play. And, and yep, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that one second. Um, and Phillips says he has a maximum of injuries, two per team. That would make sense. That would make sense. Replay gamers here as well. Sports time machine. I'm talking injuries. How do you guys handle it? P type it in the chat. How do you guys handle injuries? Because let me tell you what I did. So I'm playing. Actually, I was playing Appa the other night, and I was – well, I've been playing Appa and Hockey Bones. I'm going back and forth. I'm playing the same project in both games because I have 74, 75 in both, and I'm just kind of comparing the results. So I finished uh, 70, 71 Stanley Cup with Hockey Bones, and then I played with Appa. Three times in a row, not necessarily in the same game, but three times I, um, I had a uh, dice roll come up to check for an injury for Ken Dryden of the Canadians. And now I'm trying to think now, was, was it, was it hockey bones or was it Appa? I, I honestly forget now. I think it was, I, again, I, it doesn't matter. What, what I'm getting at is that three times in a row, I had a, a goalie injury check and three times in a row. I kind of like half rolled the dice and didn't really look at it. You know what I mean? It's like roll the dice. Nope. No injury. <laughs> you guys have done that kind of, reluctantly roll the dice and like, yeah, no, that's not it. I didn't want to take Dryden out in the series. I'm playing the Stanley cup finals between the Blackhawks and the Canadians in 70, 71. So I can see who's going to win this with the actual players somewhere along the way. PJ got in my head. Like he always does. I love the guy, but he's in my head. 
and I thought about storyline. I abandoned what was kind of a as played replay and decided to go storyline replay. Cause like, like uncle Ron says, as soon as you start rolling the dice, it's all, it's all brand new. Nothing will be the same. And if the two teams suited up the next day and played again, it wouldn't be the same either. So the, you know, you'll never get it exact and you don't want to. So after the third time of kind of half checking for an injury for Dryden, I said, okay, you know something? I, I'm going to go with it next time. So what happened? Tony Esposito of the Blackhawks has an injury check. So I go and I roll the dice and he's out for the rest of the period. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll go with that. I will go with that. So he comes out. And I, I don't remember the name of the goalie that came in off the top of my head. Again, you know. So he comes in, he finishes out the period. I think he made 10 saves or 12 saves. So we get out of the period, start of the third, Esposito's back in. So my storyline was he took a shot up high, he got cut, he was bleeding, they couldn't stop the bleeding, he leaves the ice, but he's not injured so badly that he can't come back. Period ends, they got him all stitched up, they got him all cleaned up, he's got his mask on, he comes back out for the third. That was my storyline. And it was a fantastic addition to the game. I got to say, as someone who's avoided injuries for the reasons I just said, having that storyline made this replay of mine, it went another level deep. It just was a nice, deep level. Then, ironically, what happens is in game six, in Chicago, Chicago has a chance to wrap it up. And I believe this was um, in APRA at this point now because uh, in Bones, they um, they got uh, destroyed. Chicago got destroyed in four games. But in APRA, Chicago won the series. They went three to one and ended up winning in game six. In game six, in the first period, I rolled an injury for Dryden. And I had to be fair because I've been ignoring the Dryden injuries all along. But because Esposito got hurt and missed the period, I said, I got to roll the Dryden injury. I rolled. It was an injury. I rolled. He was done for the game. Six minutes in the game six. Dryden gets hurt. Can't continue. Rogi Vashon goes in, and the Blackhawks light him up for eight goals, and they win eight to three, and they win the Stanley Cup. Not how I wanted to finish the series because it was Dryden Esposito all seven games in real life. Here I am in game six. But that, I will probably remember that more than I'll remember anything else in the replay. Is Dryden going down in game six, Vashon coming in, giving up eight goals, and the Blackhawks win that series in six. That was, it was pretty amazing. And let me get back to the, the chat here. Um, so Phillips says you, you roll to see if you get the backup goalie in one of the United soccer game. Okay. JT says, bring on the injuries. I love narratives and such. Yep. That's exactly right. If it could happen between the lines, I want it to happen to my game. You know, if it's in the game, remember that if it's in the game, uh, sports time machine with strat baseball and it's alternate universe replay. I let injuries occur. Uh, and if it's as played, there's a max setting of a games only that helps a player use it. Yeah. Strat PC baseball does a good job. If you're talking about the PC baseball, it does a good job of you can turn injuries off or turn them on, on or off. And then I think you can actually limit them too. Um, a lot of times I just turn them off because if I'm playing an as played, I feel like they're kind of baked in anyway. The same with Action PC. I think they're kind of baked in. And also, I think uh, even the other games, like inside the, inside the crease and stuff like that, I think they're baked in like that. Uh, so I, I wasn't doing injuries. It's kind of what I'm getting at. When I started my Hockey Bones 74-75 Cup Finals, I got, I got Buffalo and Philadelphia. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the injuries. I'm going to put them on and see how it goes. So anytime you get a little question mark on the player card, you get an injury check. And um, so I'm rolling the dice. And I rolled on one of the goalies. I think it was Perrant. Game one, game one of the series. I think we're 10 minutes in the game one. And I think I had to roll a 
Two, twelve, one to get an injury on on the Perrant goalie. So you follow that. So I'm rolling a blue dice, a blue die, two whites and a red. That's how you play hockey bones. You roll four die. They all had to come out exact for an injury check. Okay, so I mean, meaning two on the blue, a combination, I think it was 11 or 12 on the white, and then the red die had to be a one. Any other, any other number on the red die, any other blue number, any other white number, any other red number, there's no injury check. I rolled exact, and I don't know what the percentages are of rolling four dice exact, but I rolled it exact, and I said, you know something? I, I used I used injuries in the um, the app replay, and it brought up a really cool storyline, especially for you know when Esposito got hurt and came back, and then Dryden went out and didn't come back. It, it made for a very memorable replay. And so now, I got Perrant in game one. Like I say, first period, first half of the first period, and I roll exact, exact. I couldn't hit it any better. And I rolled on a dice, and he was out for the game. So Perrant got hurt in my game, and I and I let it roll. And so Wayne Stevenson came in. He actually uh, stopped 18 shots, and he won the game. So it didn't affect that game. Flyers still won. But I played it with Perrant hurt. So now I come into game two of the series. I kept Stevenson in net, let Perrant heal. And Stevens goes in and, and wins the game. And then I come back in. Oh, I just posted the results. I think I kept in Stevenson for three, and he lost that. So game four, I went back to Perrant. And I says, okay, Perrant is healed up from his injury in game one. That's my storyline. Remember, we talk storylines. He's healed up from his injury, and he's going to give it a go. What happens? First shot on net. And they score on Perron. First shot on net. So now my storyline is maybe Perron, whatever his injury was in game one, he's not quite healed up yet to play. I kept him in the game. They scored another goal. Two goals on four shots on Perron. What do I do now? Again, he's not hurt in this game, but in my storyline, he left game one with an injury. If I didn't take him out in game one, if I ignored the injuries, I would not have this storyline in game four, which he let up two goals on four shots. Now, now I have this ridiculous storyline in my head about how Perron is not quite healed up because he gave up two goals on four shots. He ended up giving three in the entire piece. Saw so 10 shots. He gave up three goals in the first. And the second period, I kept him on the bench and I brought Stevenson back into the game. That was that was something that's really I don't want to say it's never happened in any of my replays, but the, the level of storyline I'm getting now, it 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 just keeps adding. I mean, you know, I used to play the quick play games on the beat, and now I'm playing the long play games. And now I've added injuries and I didn't know if I would like injuries. I didn't know if I would like injuries, but when this started happening, it really did. It, it really has taken this to a new level and I hate injuries because I don't want my best guys out. And if it was Bobby, I'd probably cry and quit the way you play. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So what what do you guys do? Do you guys go with the replays? Do you, you know, how do you handle it? Again, when, when Perrant got hurt and come out of the game, I, I wasn't going to do it, but I remember I was talking to Ron either that night or the next day. I said, Ron, I didn't want to do, I didn't want to take the goalie out of a Stanley Cup Finals game because I'm doing a replay for a reason. And now I've already lost Dryden in that one game, and now I get Perrant hurt. But it says, when I rolled all four dice, so injuries are very uncommon, especially for goalies. When I rolled all four dice exact, I mean, that may never happen again for Perron. So I, I think I, I got to I think I gotta go with that. And I says, I did, and, it, and it's creating a fun storyline in my game. So like I say, Perron came back in game four. He got lit up. They took him out, or I took him out, and Stevens can come back in. It's been kind of neat. 
Also, um, in hockey bones, there's a you, the player can get injured and he can stay in the game. Okay, and so I had a couple of guys, one for each team. That what you do is when they get injured, their um their ability comes down a little bit. So in other words, let's just say it's a minus one. So you roll in the guy's card and it says eight. So, so you check the other team's defense to see if, if eight is greater than e, greater than or equal to the defense for a shot. Well, that eight now becomes a seven because he's hurt. And one of the passing ratings comes down by a, a point as well. So it just makes it a little bit easy, a little bit more difficult to take a shot and to pass with that particular guy. So what I did, I wrote it down on the score sheet because I was like, I'll never remember this. I said, well, let me write it down. Let me try this. I wanted to try something different. I went into Uncharted Waters. I think we did a show on Uncharted Waters. So I went into Uncharted Waters and did the did the um, the injury stuff. And it actually did affect one of the guys. I think it was uh, Danny Gare and the Buffalo Sabres. <clears throat> he had an injury, so he was a minus two. It was a pretty bad injury. He stayed in the game. And I had a chance for a shot on net, but because it was minus two, the shot wasn't in range. Or he didn't or he never got the shot. So he lost the puck. So it affected the game. But there's the storyline we talked about. You know, now Danny Gare gets hurt, can't make the pass. I thought it was pretty neat. I I I do. So all, all these years I've been playing without injuries, and for good reason. Okay, let's be fair, to be fair. It was good reason. Now I got a good reason to try it. Now I'm I'm trying different things. As ID said, we're maturing. That's one of the things he talked about. Are we maturing as gamers? And may, maybe I am. Maybe this is part of the maturity process. And let me go back to the um the chat room here. Uh, Turbo says, uh, yes, I go with all injuries, ejections, et cetera. Whatever happens, happens just in real life. Okay. That makes sense there. Uh, Philip says, like, he, he created the injuries for hoops in his league. Um, so he went with a uh, 1D6 to check it out. Okay. And D. Scott Howard, I use as played lamps for full season replays, no random injuries, but real injuries built in. Yeah, and and I think that's what a lot of people do too, is because you know, and we talked about just a minute ago about um, Strat and Action PC, which are some of the, the the bigger computer games. I think they're built in, and uh, even replay basketball. I remember looking up my '84 Celtics replay, and Kevin McHale, he had um he didn't play every game. So the injuries were baked in there as well. So I'm kind of, I think everybody's built in. So how many games they played, they will, I think the computer will take them out for that many games. So yeah, you wouldn't have to really go with that. So to speak, if you're playing it as played, I was trying to play it as played and somewhere along the line, it just kept coming up injury check, injury check, injury check. And you know, it's like, well, this is a hockey game. And while I don't want to lose my best guys, I gave it a shot. And I got to say, so far, it's been fun because we've had good storylines. But again, I'm playing Buffalo, Philadelphia, so neither one of these are my favorite teams, so to speak. They're just a couple of teams. So I know if I played a team I really, really like and lost, like say if I lost Bobby Orr for the game, that would be a big deal to me. And so now I'm, I'd be a little hesitant, but I probably would. But again, it's a storyline. And like, like, like they said over here in the chat room, you know, I, I want to see what happens. Who was it? Was it JT that wrote that? Yeah, bring on the injuries. Yep. Bring on the injuries. I love narratives and stuff. If it can happen between the lines, I want it to happen in the game in a reasonable quantity. Yeah. And, and I guess that's that's the other thing though, um to to uh to do too is that you know if it you know if if it gets out of hand, then yeah, it gets out of hand. And then you can say, Yeah, I don't I don't want to do that, you know. Uh Bears Den, what do you got here? Um 73 we play season. Tommy Hopper is injured for three games. I moved Yes to left field. And Danny um Cater Cotter is playing for us. He goes 12, 14, all singles to Tigers. Reds up swept in five games. Yeah, I mean it can. It, it can create a, a completely different storyline. And and but but it, I guess it all depends on what you want. If you're playing as played, then you probably want to leave it as played. Because if they didn't get hurt in the series, they didn't get hurt in the series. What I was doing in this hockey bones replay i went to the actual game and saw who's in the lineup and, and put every one of those guys in the game so i could play it as played but now what happens though what, what happens when when someone gets hurt like that you know uh oh boy three nothing ranges now my, my ranger buddies texted me i should be listening to the game but it was between periods um so i mean so i guess i broke away from the as played and went into the dave played i went into my own storyline once i started adding the injuries and it's it's been quite fun. It it really has been. So I'm thinking this is something I I might try now. I might try 
adding injuries into the game and and see how it goes. And if it gets ridiculous, and like you said, it gets ridiculous. Um, and uh, Zlatsky Smurf says, I only do in-game injuries in my Sims. Okay. D. Scott, in, in Alternative Universe products, I do turn on some injuries to keep things real. Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. And uh, what was the other thing D. Scott said? I'm trying to find um, the other thing that you said in here, D. Scott. So I could post that on the screen. I gotta scroll back and find that. But th there's been a couple of good. Um, in, oh, it was, it was David. Uh, David, as for injuries, I play with them. And yes, it can be frustrating, but interesting to see how the team adapts if it's a key player. Yep. I mean, and to that, that storyline right there. That's a storyline. Uh, Phillips, I have a maximum of two injuries per team. Yeah, I think I'm... But, I mean, if, if I'm going to play the injuries, I might as well just play them. And if guys get hurt, they get hurt. I, Reggie Leach got hurt. You know, it, it was in the blowout. It was a 5 nothing game, but he got hurt in the second period, and that just compounded the Flyers' problem. So, for me, the storyline was it's 5 nothing in the second. Reggie Leach gets hurt. It just gets worse for Philadelphia. Ironically, the third period started, and I think, the Flyers had 10 shots and the Sabres had five. Nobody had a shot in range, so there was no chance for a goal. It was a very boring third period, and it's almost like both teams just wanted to get out of the game unscathed. So there was a whole whole storyline right there. It really was. Um, and uh, Oh, good. The power's back on. Good good for you. Now you can play some games. Now you can play some. Well, that, that's the key about cards and dice. If the power goes out, as long as you have some kind of a flashlight or something, you can still play a game. Or if it's light out, you can play a game. Can't, can't do that with computer games with the power out. Um, uh, Zlavsky Smurf says, I like setting lineups and, and playing time. So injuries make that less fun. Okay. Yep. That would be, but I just, um, I just wanted to try it because I'm, and I'm slowly adding things to my game and it does add time to the game. Cause you got to stop and look at it and figure it out. But when I hit those four dice, exact one blue, two white and a red, and that was an injury check. I I, I kind of had to go for it. I, I had to look at that and say, look, this guy's injured, you know, and um, so I, I might be turning turning a new leaf when it comes to injuries. Not that I'm going to use them all the time, but I've been playing this this. So, I, but it all depends. You want to do an ass played, or do you want to do a replay? Again, the the as played, that guy doesn't get injured, right? Dryden doesn't get injured. Perrant doesn't get injured. You just stick with the goalies you got. I think these injuries, as key as they were, they've really added to the storyline. And that's what I'm looking for with these here. So I'm, I'm half looking results and I'm half looking storyline. I really am. Uh, Turbo, what do you got here? In your 71 replay, an action PC Mets had a narrow lead over Pittsburgh. Stodgill, ooh, Willie Stodgill got hurt. Running the bases in late August in his 14 games. Pirates went three and eleven, and the Mets won the NL East, going away. Yeah. So yeah, it it again when I took out Dryden and put in Vashon. Vashon was not a bad goalie. Let me tell you, Vashon's not a bad goalie, and he gets shelled eight to three, and the Blackhawks beat the Canadians for the Cup. Dryden going out was a big deal. I'm not saying Dryden would have made a difference in that game, but he, he might have stopped a few of those. And. uh is uh he said he got back in a Stratomac baseball for the first time in eight years. He forgot how much time it takes to set up a league. Yeah, yeah, it can, it can. And uh, D Scott Howard, one in twelve ninety six for four exact dice. That's why you are here. That's why you are here. Wait, where, where's my, where's my banner? Do I have that here? Yes, I go. That's why you are here. Okay. Because you bring stuff like that to the table. So I figured if I'm gonna roll something that exact. Then I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna re and so I've been doing that. Anytime I see a little question mark on the hockey bones card, I've been going with the injury, and I even did that with Appa. There's, and I, for some reason, on the Dryden card, I rolled injuries three times, and I ignored it the first two times. And finally, I said, "Look, I, I, I at least got to give it a check." And then when I had Esposito get the injury, and I sat him out for a period, I said, "No, I, I need to, I need to be fair. I need to be fair and do the same for Dryden." So, anyway. So, yeah, I just wanted to pop on real quick between periods of the Ranger game and, and I'm between games. I'm ready to start game five of my Stanley Cup finals. It's 2-2, Flyers and Sabres, each team winning at home. So, we'll see how this series shakes out. Now, it's a best of three. And I think I'm going to keep the injuries on. I think I'm going to do the injury check and keep it on and make that part of the replay here. 
And um, it, it just does. It does add storyline. It does add depth. It does add a whole new wrinkle when someone gets hurt. So anyway, and Steeler fans stopped by tonight. Almost did some spiders tonight to get you some business down there at the corner of Smith and Main. Steeler fan buggy whips. But I ended up uh, just doing a chat about injuries tonight. And um, I'm going to jump back in and um, play my game there. Let's go, Buffalo, said David. Yeah, they were down 2 nothing, but they had two big games at home. And now with Perant injured, although Stevenson's been playing fantastic. 43 out of 46 shots he saved in one of the games or something like that. He's been really good in the net, really good. So, all right. I'll let you guys get back to your games. And hopefully uh, you're watching something good on TV. You're playing something good on the table. You're chilling out here. Uh, the end of the long weekend. Um, make sure you check out ID Jess's channel. He had some really good interviews um, the last few days. You want to check out. He had Jucking on today at 1 o'clock. That was a fun little interview that I watched. And um, we will catch up with you guys later this week. Oh, uh, I, I updated the um, the series on digitaltodice.com. I got a blog going with all my replays. So in case you'd like to follow along and get more detail about the games and the stats of the game, uh, I'm starting to post those on digitaltodice.com just in case you're wondering, just in case you, you know, I like if, if this, somebody's doing a replay I really am into, I will read his recaps and it's, it's really kind of fun following their storyline. And now I'm kind of creating my own. So, all righty, Turbo, thank you so much for coming by. And we'll, we'll talk to everybody later. You guys all have a good night. Bye-bye.